And now for the word in progress. If you're going to be a partner here this year, this is bad English, ain't but one way to think. Ain't but one way to think. Ain't but one way to think, and that's according to this word. And see, really, I say that, and you're like, oh, he think he is going to tell me how to think. But the Bible says the same thing. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your what? That's your, what you think that is? That's your thinking. See, I, I could have easily said as a Christian, there's only one way to think. But some of you think you got options as a Christian. I can think this way if I want to. No, I, I, if, if, I, if I want to feel like this, but he told you do not lean to your own understanding. If you're going to be a partner here, ain't but one way to think this year, and that's double. Shall we double up on everything around here? Double up on everything around here. Third John, you have that? But you got to align your soul. Your soul has to be aligned. Third John, look at, look at, verse, number, uh, look at verse number two. You know this good stuff here. Beloved. I wish above what now? Well, I'm in the King James Version now, but however. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest what? Prosper and be in health, even as thy There it is. That soul has to line up. That soul, that mind, that will, those emotions, that imagination, and that intellect must line up with prosperity. He wants you to prosper, but your soul has to line up with prosperity. He wants you to double this year, but that soul has to line up with double. See, I must get my thinking right. Now, 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 now. Watch this. So I, I, I further, I went further and I, I continue to look this word alignment up. Align or alignment. Check out some of these definitions real fast. Awesome stuff here. Awesome stuff. I looked up body alignment. If I say body alignment. It is in sports and dance, the proper placement of bones so that muscles do less work. It is, in sports or in dance, the proper placement of bones so that muscles do less work. We're going to do some things properly this year. We're going to align our souls with the word of God this year, causing us to get paid more but work less. Because we're going to line up with the word. We're not doing less because we're lazy. We're doing less because he says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So you're going to do less aligned up with the word of God and get paid more. Say, I received that. I received that. Body alignment. Now, that's in the dictionary, but I hear that. Body alignment. Body of Christ. But oh, I just heard that body alignment. If we can just align this body up, right, right. We, we can even do more with less. Now, glory to God. Everybody say body alignment. body alignment. Now watch this. I looked this word up. It's a word alignment, and I saw business slash IT alignment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is how well an organization is able to use information, technology, to achieve objectives. How well an organization is able to use information to achieve the objectives. You got to start coming here receiving this information. And it's going to be the information or revelation that you receive that's going to cause you to achieve the objective in your marriage. Amen. You can't miss marriage made effective because there's going to be some information given out that should align your marriage. Ain't no need for us to have counseling. Come to marriage made effective. Yeah, it's simple. Glory to God. I looked this word alignment up. I saw constructive alignment. Now, all I did was hit Google, folks. I ain't trying to be real deep with you. They're yeah, like, well, what kind of concordance he got to Google? <laughs> Pastor, deep, man. He is so deep, man. He must got the Hebrew and the Greek. Yeah, sure do. Guess what alignment means in the Greek? 
Alame. Guess how you say it in Hebrew? Alame. How you say it in Spanish? Alame. Constructive alignment. Everybody say constructive alignment. Constructive alignment. That is a method of devising teachings, activities that directly address learning outcomes. All right, all right. This gangster. Learning what do you think he's trying to do every Sunday morning at these leadership trainings? Mm -hmm. He's trying to put together teachings and training for this body that's going to cause all of us to be aligned. Because we can't walk out of here Sundays and Tuesdays and our, and our second services on Saturdays saying different stuff. Right. There's got to be one vision. There's got to be one voice. I'm going to say one vision. One, vision. one, voice. one voice. So all you EDs, all you uh, Ministry of Health people, you leaders, you staff, you got to be echoing what your pastor's saying. This is the year double. It just don't mean material things. So that means you're going to work on MOH because we're doubling up. You didn't work last year. It's going to be, I'm going to have six readers this year. We're going to have nine, ten ushers this year because this is, my man of God said, this is the year to double. We're going to have more than enough ushers this year. We're in the overflow. Everybody shout overflow. Overflow. Now, 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 uh, I looked this word alignment up. And it said, a state of agreement among persons or groups with a common cause or viewpoint. With a common cause or viewpoint. Everybody say common cause or viewpoint. Go to uh, Genesis chapter 11. JB didn't make this? Who made this? Okay. <clears throat> JB got that. They got the he makes make some drinks now. See how, you, see how you hearing that? See how you hearing that? See, I, I knew. But that came out too fast. And I, shouldn't say, I shouldn't even say that like that. No, but he can make some tea, though. <clears throat> Genesis 11. Now, I can tell when he make it. He can hand me the cup, though. <clears throat> Genesis 11. You have it? Everybody say alignment. Say, I'm aligning my, right my soul. Right now. Even as my pastor speaks. What you get in this car. So align your soul with it. This, trust in the Lord yes. with all your heart and do what? Where in the world car going to come from? You ain't got to understand that. That removes all the pressure. How this marriage going to get fixed? You ain't got to understand that. See, you put too much pressure on yourself that you never were designed to put on yourself. Trust in the Lord with all my heart, the seat and the core of my understanding, and do not lean on my own understanding. You're putting too much pressure on yourself, and you were never designed to hold up under the pressure. Man, I can tell you weeks I have walked in here with so much pressure on me. And every time before I come out here, I have to say, God, this does not belong to me. Because if I try to hold this up, I'm going to hit me a blunt. Straight up, man. God, if, if I got to hold this up, God, I'm going to smoke me a cigarette. If I got to hold this up, I'm going to leave my wife. If I got to hold this up, I'm going to tuck it and run. I'm going to run. We got some runners in here. Amen. Do the running man. You, you know exactly what that is. And we ain't talking about this. We're talking about you, you tuck it and run. But once I realize, God, I don't have to lean to my own understanding. It's my own understanding that's stressing me out. Jesus. Come on, you got to get this. This is the year of double. You ain't got to understand it. This is the year you get a car. You ain't got to understand it. God, and you closer than you know you are. That boy Peter is walking on the doggone water. Y'all heard about that pastor? They said he was going to try one of Jesus' miracles. Well, I don't know if it's true or not. I saw it on Facebook. I heard it on radio today, but I, heard, I saw it on Facebook. I don't know how true it is, but they say some pastor... Maybe in Africa or somewhere. Nigeria, I don't know where he was. Uh, Rock on water and he drowned. Y'all know miracles happen as the spirit wills, right? Miracles happen as the spirit wills. You know, Jesus walked on water 
who was the Bible says as he is. So now I like addressing current issues because I don't want to, I don't want to hear about you in Virginia Beach. Well, I was in Virginia Beach, Pastor, and I stopped. This a year double. This a year I double. I double walk on. I walk on two feet of water. I don't want no. You gonna try, baby? Don't do that. You gotta realize. See, see, and I don't want you to hear that stuff and you get weak in your faith. This stuff don't work. He tried it. He was bold. That was some swag. That was gangster. That was stupid. You go back and put the story in its proper context. Jesus told Peter, told Peter to do what? Come. He told Peter to what? He tell pastor whatever his name is to come. And if you believe he told you to come, we will soon find out. Because if God tells you to come on some water, you're going to come on some water. And if he did not tell you come on some water, we all going to know. I got sidetracked that quick. What was I talking about before that, that passed? Yeah, that's how you go to the scripture, though. Genesis, you know what Genesis is? You got any idea? First book of the Bible. You got any idea what Genesis 11 is? Should be right behind 10. <clears throat> because this alignment has to do with us being in complete agreement. Come on, now is your time to bail on us. Don't wait to, don't, don't let us find out there was a Jonah in this boat. And cause all us to go through hardships. Because you act like you're supposed to be here, but you weren't really weren't supposed to be here. Jonah, I, Jonah was, me he messed a whole, a whole town, a whole city up. He had no business being where he was. And because he was there, caused whole heart. If you ain't supposed to be here agreeing with this, don't, 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 don't fool with this. Because this is serious stuff. But what Genesis 11, but miracles happen as the spirit wills. So I, I ain't got to go, I ain't got to prove, try one of Jesus' miracles just because he, I saw it. I ain't got, no. If he want me to walk on water, he'll tell me. And then, and then what Peter asked, the Lord bid me to come if that's you. Okay, well, I can ask God. He, he'll tell me, if, if, but I, I'm waiting for the come. Because like I say, see, you got to watch that spooky stuff. Cause every time I ask God, I'm on here right back. And you got to know when it's your conscience and when it's God. Yeah, you, you, you got to know when it's, your, when it's God. Because some of you thought it was God when... <clears throat> okay. Everybody said we must have agreement. Now, now, this is a problem because if I can get everybody in here to agree, all 150 of you to agree. See, I even got to get you to start agreeing with that. 150. Don't let nothing else come out your mouth. 150. 150. All 150 of us to agree to align our souls with this is the year of double. We're going to double. Be in the overflow. Abundance. Then we become unstoppable. So we're unstoppable. unstoppable. Glory to God. Now turn to somebody who says, do you, say, do you agree? 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 Did you, I said, do you agree? Genesis chapter 11. Look at verse 6. Genesis 11, verse 6. When you have it, say, I have it. Come on, I got a few more minutes, and then we're going to get out of here. Genesis 11, but I got to get somewhere. Watch this. And the Lord said, indeed. Everybody say, indeed. Woo, glory to God. Indeed. In what they were doing. Indeed. The people are what? They're how many? There are how many? That sounds like agreement to me. That sounds like alignment to me. The people are aligned, and they all have what? They're, so the people are one, and they got one language. See, don't tell me we are one. Don't tell me you with me, but we ain't talking the same. No, we ain't the same, and we ain't talking the same. Because what's going to tell us that we're one is see, it's your heart. What tells me your heart is what's coming out your mouth. Don't tell me you and your daughter. Well, 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 when you get married, the two become one. Yeah, the problem is, which one? <laughs> the two become one, but which one? 
Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch them by yourself. Punch your mama in the face. What color was the blood? All right. Oh, no. I don't want to win back. I don't want to win back. I don't want to back. I don't want to win back. You don't remember that? You don't remember that? Put your foot there. Put your foot there. Put your foot there. My mama punched your mama right dead in the nose. What color was the blood? Red. R-E-D. Red. Oh, no, 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 no. Y'all miss a whole generation. Y'all miss a whole. Y'all, 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 2,000 babies. Y'all miss a whole. Y'all miss some good time. Y'all miss some good time. We won't playing jacks and stuff like that. Jack, you know what I'm saying? Hot Scott, you know what I'm saying? Y'all bad. Yeah, y'all skelly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 uh flipping. Du uh, yeah, double dust. Y'all miss a whole. Y'all miss a whole. Jesus, man. Kickball, man. I mean, what? 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 Come on, come on, come on. What? Come on. I mean, y'all miss a whole. Y'all miss a whole. Jesus. Yeah, why else could you go and get paid red light, green light? Red light! <laughs> green light! I mean, we having fun, too. I mean, like, fun. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I got this time. Oh, yeah. I mean, crazy fun. Oh, man. You got to get back to some of that stuff, y'all. Come on, y'all come on, y'all playing some of that stuff for us this year. When the weather break. Kickball game. All like all 80s games or 70s games, kickball game, jacks. Uh, we're going to a field somewhere and just gonna get, get, act stupid. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes, MOA, MOA's field day. Yeah, let's have playing that, man. Yeah. Let's see who still got it. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> somebody she said, I ain't never had it. Watch this. And the Lord said, indeed. The people are aligned or one. Can you clearly see this? And they, ha they all have one or have aligned their language. So we're not one and we ain't talking the same. And this is what they begin to do. Now, nothing, shout nothing. Nothing, nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Glory to God. Glory to God. And of course, you know what they were doing was evil. What they was doing was what God told them not to do. But this just shows you the power of people. That when people get together, rebellious yeah. or not, yeah. if they can come together, right. that's why the devil yeah. don't want you to agree with me. Right. He want to keep you off with me, keep you offended with me. Because if you ever line up with the visionary, you're unstoppable. This is why he got you at home and you and your wife, you and your boo, you, you and your singleness, you having discussions. That ninja, you, you, you don't tell us what to do around here. I know what he said in church, but we ain't doing that. That's why. And, and see, and you think it's about me and it's about vision. I don't care, I don't care. About, but she don't like for me to say this, but I don't, I don't. Let's be other than the love of God, for real, for real. I know some of you all, I got to know some of y'all, but other than the love of God, I really don't care. I mean, I, I mean, don't, what the, don't get, don't, don't get this twisted, but I mean, I mean. Uh, I'm just trying to, I mean, I mean, Dickie Branch, my man, you know, he had surgery today. But uh, the love of God had me over there, um, the love of God had me over there from 8 to 12. Right, 30. At 12, the love of God had me over there. <laughs> No, you, you can hear that one of two ways, like, dang. Or you can like, D you know what? He, he saved. Right, right, right. Pastor saved. Yeah. You don't think I had nothing to do between 8 and 12? Mm -hmm. And then only, only saw him, only saw him for 20 minutes? The other uh, uh, four hours and some change, I'm looking at her, Dickie Brand, Mr. Branch, and what? And some people I don't know, like, so what, why am I over here? So don't get it twisted. This got to be the love of God. Yeah. Yeah. And you should feel the same way. I, I ain't here because I love Pastor Mike. Because see, if that ain't the bridge to this relationship, if the love of God is not the bridge right. to this relationship, right. Right. we already in trouble. Right. Because I'm going to piss you off. <laughs> if I haven't done it yet, stay still this year. I'm coming your way. I'm going to piss you off. I'm going to make you so mad. I'm going to make you so mad. You're going to come late and they're going to ask me, can you serve? And I'm going to say, no. 
You gonna put together an adult dance? I don't like it. I'm gonna say they ain't dancing. And if and if the love of God ain't there, I'm gonna tell you about your marriage. I'm gonna tell you what you're doing as a husband, what you're doing as a wife. And if the love of God ain't there, and all you're gonna do is go somewhere else. Eventually, a church, a mosque, or wherever, a job, and they're gonna be doing, telling you what to do. Saying, so what to do. Because in life, you're going to listen to somebody. We may not know who that body is, but you're going to listen to somebody. It's somebody. So if God put a man of God in front of you, why not just listen? But I know what's going to happen. You're going to get this car. <laughs> and them jokers are going to be like, Pastor, speak, Pastor. Whatever you got, spit on me, Pastor. Say what you got to say. You watch. You're going to be the bridge for You're going to have a lot of unbelief in this church. You watch. You watch. You're riding the uh, uh, whatever that mess is. It's over. Glory to God. Okay. Watch this now. Let me see this verse in the amplifier. Let me see the amplifier. Woo, it's getting hot now. I shouldn't even warm it all up like this. And see you back out there in the cold. <laughs> I'm getting you hot, Anna. And the Lord said, behold, whenever you see the word behold, that means look. Behold your car. Look at the car. That thing heavy on me right now. They are aligned. One people, they all have one language aligned. And this is only the beginning of what they will do. Yes. This is only the beginning yes. of what spirit of faith will do. Right. 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 Getting cars is only the beginning yes. of what you're going to do. Right. Making babies is only the beginning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I said, Pastor, I was with you on that. I was with you. I was with you. I was with you, Pastor. I was with you. I ain't trying to be rebellious like that, Pastor, but uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> that leg, shout that language shift. Shout that, shout that car. Shout that car. Start pulling. Uh, that J start pulling. That J start pulling. <laughs> see, it don't take much for it to pull. See, you didn't see. See, I gotta get you to even repeat that, even if that ain't for you. You gotta even see now. If you know that ain't for you, it ain't that you not gotta receive it. But that means because. We're all body. We got thumbs here. We got arms here. We got legs. So that still is something that got to be received for the body because somebody want to have kids. It's because you're tired of yours. <laughs> it's because you had a hysteria. Hist 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 yeah, hysteria. Somebody, it's because you had to. Somebody want some kids. <laughs> Glory to God. I couldn't get that word. How was that word again? Yeah, whatever. That sound, that sound, that sound nasty. That don't even sound right. <laughs> <laughs> that don't sound nasty. Don't sound nasty. Think about hysterectomy. <laughs> Praise Lord. <laughs> Miss Mavis, we go up there right as you. We go up there. Ooh, Jesus, Pastor, Jesus. <laughs> She's weak too much. She is a weak boy. She is too weak. She's like, <laughs> <She's> like <laughs> Nothing but teeth like this. <laughs> and the Lord said, Behold. Come on, man. Got about 10 more, 9 more minutes. They, they are one people and they have all one language. And this is the. This, and this is only what the beginning of what they will do. And now, nothing they have in their soul. Because my soul is my mind, my will, my emotions, my imagination, my intellect. That means before it even manifests, we got to get on one accord in our souls. And if we can just get our souls together, create one big soul line. Shout one big soul line. Come on, get on your feet real quick. Get on your feet. Get on your feet. Let me see your best soul line there. Soul train there. Let me see. Let me see your best. Is it? Is it? What's your best soul train there? What's your best? What's your best one? Let me see your best. Come on, look at that right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. You see your mom? That thing was like. Hey, chill. That thing was like this, chill. Ah, that thing was like. Come on, look at Woo. And you all know, you know, always tell them cats again dance. First thing is two step. First thing, first thing, first thing, first thing. That's first, first, that's first move, first move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Glory to God. Watch this. Y'all are tripping tonight. 
Now nothing. They have a magic. They ain't even doing it yet. They ain't even doing it yet. Just, uh, just imagine. We ain't even doing it yet. Imagine. Listen, I'm talking about the principle of, see, everything, folks, more is caught than taught. That's why you got to get the doggone CDs. You got to get it. I'm talking about this us, our body. If you and your husband, you and your wife, can just get together, align your thinking up, and just imagine y'all rich. You ain't rich. Just imagine we are. You ain't being taken off course by your current bills and leaving your husband over here frustrated. We ain't rich. You better wake up and smell reality. Ain't nobody rich around here. He ain't paying light bill. He ain't paying dog on light bill. I don't care what pastor say. We're not, we, we not rich. I'm not saying that we, we ain't rich. See, there you go right there. Because this has nothing to do with reality right now as you know it reality as you know it he's talking about use your imagination so it's okay if your it's, it's okay if your body is telling you no you just need your mind to tell you yes body is saying we ain't got no doggone money i don't care i just need my mind to say yes we Did you know there's a spirit of faith right here in Hampton Roads? Well, it's true. We operate under the covering of Drs. Mike and Dee Dee Freeman, based in Temple Hills, Maryland. They're the faith of Virginia Beach. Where's Virginia Beach? Virginia Beach, and yeah, yeah, they just, they just have the name of the house. And, and they're doing extremely, extremely well. You've been watching Walking by Faith the weekly television broadcast of Spirit of Faith Christian Center, Virginia Beach. Doctors J.L. and Shannon Simpson personally invite you to join them for service on Sundays at 11 a.m. and Tuesdays at 7 p.m. at Spirit of Faith Virginia Beach. We're located at 216 Business Park Drive, Suite 200, Virginia Beach, 23462. Visit our website at spiritoffaithvabeach.org for upcoming events and information about our ministry and Drs. J.L. and Shannon Simpson. Tune in next Sunday at 7.30 a.m. for another episode of Walking by Faith. Thanks for watching. Every day you make it serve movies.